Hare Krishna, this is Shami Krishidas. I am answering some questions. Why is God so cruel? That's a very wrong question to put in, to say God is cruel. God is very loving, very, very affectionate. Uh, he is the most affectionate and He is most merciful for the living being because we are His children. Mame Vanshu Jeeva Loki Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana That everybody is unsure of Krishna. And why any parents would be cruel to His own children? That is not possible, particularly the Krishna uh, who is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent and who understands. So He has created us, He maintains us and He watches us, He is with us all the time. Even in life of a hog or pig or any mosquito life, everywhere we go, Krishna is the only one who is who associates with us and who gives us the direction and instruction and He, by His mercy only we could do certain activity and not by our own, own means. Means of Krishna, there are five things that is needed uh, to to get the result of anything, but the most important part is sanction of Krishna. So Krishna is not cruel, but rather he is very, very merciful and we should abide by his laws, which is given in Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam. Also we should have a uh, guru who could give us the instruction proper that uh, uh, and understand who is Krishna. We don't understand Him. That's why or we have not read the scripture or associated with duties of the Lord. And that's why we may think uh, such absurd question as why God is so cruel. God is not cruel. God is very merciful. Uh, he has the most compassion for us and uh, we should not think of God as a cruel. People say that because they see so many bad things are happening to the to good people sometimes. But uh, the reason is uh, that they have done so many sinful activity in the past life and they, they get the result of that and then if they are doing good then they will get the results later on. Uh, so one should like a mother uh, who is giving to the doctor to get an operation of the child. Then child thinks that my mother was so loving, now she has become cruel. But mother knows that this will be benefit him. So sometimes putting us in difficulty, uh, that is also mercy of the Lord, which we may not understand, that Lord is so merciful. Uh, because ultimately he wants to uh, curb or uh, treat our all the materialistic propensity to enjoy the Maya or the material world which separates us from Krishna. So he, uh, so as a mercy, sometimes he gives us suffering, and that suffering may be may be a bene beneficial because then there won't be anything else. Sometimes he takes away our wealth, and that way we have no friends, no relatives are who are affectionate to us. Then ultimately we will turn towards Krishna, and when we turn to Krishna, then we go, we get finish our all the suffering in the material world and go and enjoy with Krishna in the spiritual kingdom, which is ever fresh, ever nice, ever like there is each uh, step is a dance, each word is, is a song and uh, everything is special. We don't have to work hard like there is per varga and upper varga. Upper varga is the spiritual kingdom. The per varga is per ha ba ba ma and like ka varga is ka kha ga ga na. So there is so many work but per means so much parisham, per means a fanning that we work so hard day and night. Fanning that we work so much that fan uh, or that comes, the froth comes out of our mouth. Ba means uh, uh, that birth, that we do so many activity which has no connection with us directly. Ba, then bha is bhai, we are always fearful of death and other things, that things would be stripped off or taken away. Uh, so bha and ma is mrityu. So that is the material things. And upper is beyond this five power and that is the spiritual kingdom and we belong to the spiritual kingdom and we should go back to Krishna's abode. So Krishna is not cruel but he is very very merciful that is the principle that we get from our scriptures which are also given by Krishna. Dharmam to Sakshat Bhagavad Pranidham and we should understand Krishna and his nature by studying rather than concocting his cruelty on Krishna. Thank you.